Welcome to the 45th beginning Java tutorial. We're continuing on with graphics, so we're going to use the same exact code that we used in the last video. But I want you to do a couple things. I want you to clear out the paint component method, so clear out all the code we had in there because we're going to add some new code. Now in this tutorial, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to add some custom colors, and secondly, we're going to use the draw method. So we're actually going to draw a string. But first, let's do some custom color. So I'm going to go ahead, and I've already got this typed out, so I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here, and then you can, uh, if you're following along, you can go ahead and type this in. And so what I did here was I created a couple variables, one called bright yellow, and obviously that's going to be a bright yellow color. And I created another variable to hold a dark green color. And so this will be uh, right before the fire up screen method. So we've, uh, we've got these two here. Now the way this works is these are RGB values. And I'll show you how you can use these with Microsoft Paint or any paint application that you have. Because any paint application that you're using should display RGB values. So open up Paint and let's see if we can rearrange this window a little bit here so you can see this. And hit Edit Colors. And then go ahead and move the pointer up to, let's move this up to purple. We'll switch this up here. And you can see these are the RGB values. So this first value, red, corresponds to this value over in our method. That's what we're passing in there. And obviously the second one is green. That corresponds to the second argument that we're passing in. And the third is blue. And those three colors actually make up every color in the spectrum, that combination of colors. So that's how you get a custom color. So in this tutorial, you can use whatever color you want. Now, I would make your uh, variable name somewhat relevant. If it's a bright yellow, uh, name it bright yellow, not black or something, so that when we use this later on, which we will in our paint uh, component method, it will make sense to us. Okay, so now we've got our custom color variables defined up here, and now we can go ahead and use them in our paint component method. But first things first, I want to point something out. We are going to actually use the 2D graphics class and it's hidden. It's actually a subclass within graphics and I will show you that right now. I actually already had this typed out so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this in here. Now what is going on here is this graphics 2D class here is a subclass of graphics. And if we right click on that and navigate, you'll see that right here, we go to the source, you can see that this is extending, the graphics 2D class is extending off of graphics. So that's how we get to it, that's how we can use it. Now if we switch back to our source, so what we're doing here is we're actually doing a cast to create our object. We're not actually going to use the new keyword. And if you remember that tutorial that I did way back on casting, we're actually going to use that here. So we're doing a cast into our object which we can name whatever we want. We're going to call it G2D for Graphics 2D. And so that's what we're doing. We're just casting this class into our object. And now we can go ahead and use the Graphics 2D methods. And so let's do that now. And the first thing we're going to do is actually create another rectangle. We did that in the last video, but uh, we're going to create a rectangle and, and then we're going to draw a string onto that rectangle using the draw method. So let's go ahead and first create our rectangle. So let's go ahead and use our object and we're going to look for set color and there it is and look it plugged in dark green so we're using this variable up here dark green and so that will be the color of our rectangle and now of course we need to make our rectangle which we did in the last video it will be the same thing and we're just going to do g2d dot we need to find the fill rectangle method which is right here and we need to go ahead and add our dimensions and it'll be pretty much the same thing we did in the last video. We'll make these 200 by 100. There, so now we've got our rectangle and we can actually run this now and we should have a green rectangle. And there you can see we've got our dark green rectangle. But now we want to draw something onto it. So let's go ahead and use our next color and we will set that again. We'll actually use the set color method And in this case, we're going to use our bright yellow. There we go. And now we will uh, go ahead and use the draw string method to draw a string. 
you see here you can draw a bunch of different things and you guys can actually play around with these different methods you can draw an image you can draw a polygon uh, you can draw all sorts of different things ovals so we're going to use the draw string method in this example but you guys can go ahead and use these other methods and play around with them so let's pick the uh, draw string uh, this second option right here and what we're going to do in this first argument we're going to go ahead and create some text and this is the string that we're going to draw. So we're just going to say this is a test. Something very sweet and simple. And then let's pass in here uh, 5 and 10 or something. I mean, you guys can play around with these different attributes. And let's stop this, actually. Okay, I, I don't know. How, why was that running? Oh, that was running from uh, the last run. I didn't stop it. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see we've drawn a string. So that is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next tutorial.